years ago I went to a horse clinic given by this guy Roy Hunt who's kind of like a horse whisperer type guy mm. and uh, he was uh, in a small you know round corral and bringing in, people were bringing in their green broke horses you know that hadn't really been you know hadn't been ridden or anything and uh, he was saying now it's important very important to uh, when you pick up a horse's leg, you know how to do that. You probably learned mm -hmm, that how you mm -hmm. to stroke their leg and you mm -hmm. get down and you pick their their leg up. And they said, but um, if he starts to pull away, you say, oh yeah, that's fine. That's what I want you to do. Don't ever teach the horse that it's stronger than you. Mm. Yeah, but in other words, if you can't hold that, don't uh, try to muscle it. Mm -hmm. And he likened it to raising kids. And he said, when you tell your kids something, you make sure that you can back stick that up, it. stick it. If you don't, they'll learn, oh, <gasps> mom loves me and I can, you know, I can manipulate her yeah. through my, her loving me, you know. The other thing that I found so interesting about people who really um, ride um, is mm. before I, I had had the, the, this hiccup, uh, with the horse, that woman, one of the women that I've been riding with was saying, uh, oh, you know, to become a, a real, my teacher told me that to become a real rider, you have to get thrown, I can't remember the number, she said, you have to get thrown off a horse at least 15 oh, times. Oh, oh, and I was man. like, wow, like yeah. that kind of like, yeah, it is what it is, right. and you get up and you do it. And yeah. I have another, I have a friend who's, who is, you know, has a very strong attachment to horses and to riding. It's a very big part of her life. And she recently had a situation where she injured herself, was, was uh, thrown off, and it just it didn't phase her at all.